On the night of May 26, 2024, the severe cyclonic storm Remal charged through the North Bay of Bengal at a speed of 13 km per hour. As the storm intensified, it crossed the coasts of Bangladesh and West Bengal with wind speeds ranging from 110 to 120 km per hour, gusting up to 135 km per hour. Let's break down what happened and understand the science behind cyclones. Remal made landfall between Sagar Islands and Kepupara, southwest of Mongla, affecting regions in both Bangladesh and West Bengal. By the early hours of May 27, it was centered over coastal Bangladesh, gradually weakening as it moved north-northeastwards. But what exactly is a cyclone? A cyclone is a large-scale system of air that rotates around a low-pressure center, often bringing violent storms and severe weather. In the northern hemisphere, these winds spiral inwards and rotate anticlockwise, while in the southern hemisphere, they rotate clockwise. Cyclones come in two main types, extratropical and tropical. Extratropical cyclones, or mid-latitude cyclones, occur outside the tropics and have cold air at their core. They derive energy from the interaction between cold and warm air masses and always have one or more fronts. Tropical cyclones, on the other hand, develop between the tropics of Capricorn and Cancer. These are the most devastating storms on Earth, gaining strength from the warm, moist air over tropical oceans. As the warm air rises and condenses, it releases latent heat, fueling the storm. Did you know? Tropical cyclones have different names based on their location and strength. They are called hurricanes in the Atlantic and Northeast Pacific, typhoons in the Northwest Pacific, and simply cyclones in the South Pacific and Indian Ocean. The name Remal, meaning sand in Arabic, was chosen by Oman. But why does a country on the Arabian Sea name a cyclone in the Bay of Bengal? The answer lies with the World Meteorological Organization and the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific. In 2000, these organizations established a panel to assign names to cyclones in the North Indian Ocean. The panel, now expanded to include 13 countries, ensures that the names are neutral, easy to pronounce, and culturally sensitive. Each country submits 13 names, used in a rotational manner. For instance, Nisarga from Bangladesh was followed by Gati from India and Nivar from Iran. This systematic naming helps in efficient communication and disaster management. 